everybody. So hey Sabrina's out here with me in the craft area. I have tried this technique a billion times and I never get it right. So I thought I would try it and show you guys. And like I said, we'll fail. We'll either get it right together or we'll fail together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to crackle paint this piece of wood with using school glue. Oh yeah, I got a new phone. My phone died. I've been having a day. Yesterday I was having feeling overwhelmed with my mom and moving and just everything. I've got so much to do. And today my phone died this morning and I couldn't get onto my work computer. So I said, forget it. I'm having a me day. So basically what you want to do though on this project is you're going to get a piece of wood. This is just some extra wood we had laying around after we got our new door put in. They cut it like perfectly, the guy who did it. So I'm going to go ahead. What I've done so far is I've put a layer of black chalk paint. Next thing you do, and I just used this little brush here to do my chalk paint. Sabrina's actually on the floor and she's doing stenciling. I don't know if you remember those stencils we got from um, AliExpress. She's got another piece of wood that she's doing some stenciling on. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can show you guys. Here, can you show it to him? Are you there? Okay. So, here we have, this is Tiana. You guys cannot see that, can you? Okay. So, I stenciled on Tiana with like a cool dress and a bunch of different tones of green and then i have a bunch of kitty cats because why not and then i'm gonna do some green leaves up there so yeah okay so then we're gonna try let me put you guys back down you can kind of see the board i hope i think okay we're gonna give it a try like i said we're either going to succeed together or we're going to fail together. So you, what you do after this is completely dry, okay? So it's completely dry, touched it, you can feel the wood still coming through it. You take your Elmer's glue. And it doesn't have to be Elmer's, it can be any school glue, just plain white school glue. And you're just going to put it on. And my understanding, let me tell you guys, I've tried this multiple times and I haven't got it to work yet. <laughs> my understanding is the more... Glue you have in certain places, the bigger your crackle is going to be. So once you get this, you're just going to go ahead and kind of spread your glue out. You don't want to be too precise. Just kind of spread it out. Let it do its thing. You're going to give it just like, you know, five seconds, three seconds. I'm going to do it on the edges here. Just where you want it to crackle. Okay. Okay, so... I got that. Now, the next thing you do, I'm using here the Waverly chalk paint in pumpkin. And I guess I'm thinking maybe, and you just kind of put the paint on. I don't know why I have this issue with chalk paint. Maybe I need to stir it. I think also too, the chalk paint I'm getting is old from Walmart. Because my understanding is they stopped carrying this particular brand of chalk paint and they're just selling what they have left. So that could be why I'm having issues with my paint being so thick. So my glue should be kind of sticky now. You can go ahead and you're gonna put the paint on. See how mine's coming out like thick. I mean, it's coming out thick and it shouldn't be this way at all. So once you get it on, my understanding, again, I guess I said my understanding is long, you want long strokes. And I'm going to use the same brush I used for the black paint because I don't care if black mixes in with the orange. And from what I understand, you don't want to mess with it too much. You like a one, kind of back two, and three. Don't go too much. One, and two, and three. I'm also told the more paint you have on, the harder your crackle is going to be. So I'm, I'm basically, that's it. Kind of. This is just me just messing around right here. So once you get this on, you're gonna let it dry. So I'm gonna pause you guys, because what I'm gonna actually do, I'm gonna kind of do that. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take this, put it outside of the garage, 
and let the sun dry it and let's see what happens. So I'm going to pause you guys and we'll see what happens when we come back. Okay, be back. Okay guys, it is still drying. This is another piece that I did and I just painted it black. I was going to kind of coordinate. I'm going to bring you guys up a minute. <clears throat> Sorry. It's so hot. Are you guys, it's summer like crazy where you are right now. It is crazy where we are in the garage. Um, so much has happened in the last weekend. It's, so while we're waiting for that to dry, see if it crackles. I got my Melissa Fent dress on. Uh, kind of felt that it was appropriate. I don't know why I just did. Anyways, guys. Um, um, a lot of things happened in the last week. And bottom line is Sabrina's dad needed a place to stay. And why don't you go ahead and leave it up there so it'll dry. And then I'll leave them up in the sink. I don't know if you should put them out in the sun. Okay. It's so hot, you guys. It is hot. Anyways. Um, he wasn't staying here due to other issues um, from before. And my mom, as I stated, she, on July 3rd, she fell in the parking lot of Red Lobster and ended up having to have emergency hip surgery on the 4th. She's now in the uh, step-down rehab center, which is closer to home. And she's doing really well. They're saying um, they'll assess her Monday after taking her to a follow-up with the surgeon. And they may release her Tuesday. She is doing really well getting up. She started her physical therapy yesterday. And it's kind of taken, a, you know, out of her. But she said she got to they had her climb stairs a little bit today. And, um, but she's doing good um, going to the restroom bad by herself. And so that's a good sign there. Uh... But Jeremy, the place he was staying, just couldn't stay at anymore. So I basically just told my mom, you know what, we're going to move him in here. I didn't want him going to, the only other place he had was like a hotel, but paying three fifty dollars a week. And we're trying to save money to move. It just didn't seem logical to me. So he moved in here on Friday, last Friday. So far, everything's been going good. Um, so that's good. And... We're still waiting to hear about this house. The leasing agent went on vacation, so we gotta wait for her to come back. And then when she comes back, hopefully we get the okay and we can start moving things in. Um, or at least, I don't know, you guys, I've got so much to do and yesterday just kind of overwhelmed me. I, you know, with my mom, I do have a sister so she's, you know, she help, she is helping, so I'm not, like, just taking care of my mom by myself. So that is a good thing. Um, and just the, the moving, there's a lot to do. I'm sorry, I'm looking at something up there. There's a lot to do. Um, I've just got stuff all over the house that I need to just basically put in, put in boxes, bags, whatever, and get them to Goodwill. I don't need them. I did a lot of shopping during lockdown um, when the thrift stores opened on Macari, on Goodwill.com, on, you know, Poshmark, wherever I could shop, I shopped. Um, so I've got stuff like crazy. Uh, I might take some of the clothes to that caring place I told you guys about and not the Goodwill just because I give the clothes to people. I might even give some to my mom's, um, the lady that my mom is, um, rooming with has some issues with her landlord and basically even, she's been there since May. She's paid her rent and he still went in there and took all her stuff out and just basically threw it in the trash. Broke her brand new TV, clothes, she has nothing. So, um, there's that. Um, I said everything's going well here, but I just getting a little overwhelmed we gave away like I said uh, Sabrina has decided dolls just I mean she still loves her her uh, Lucille she still loves Luna she they're in her room she still has like her you know we still have our American Girl dolls we just don't know what we're gonna do with them 
Um, I said I went crazy during all, I mean, I spent so much money. I look back at it like, oh my goodness, but it was a depression. And that's how I cope with buying and buying and buying and buying. Not a good thing. So, you guys see, I was painting black. <laughs> Anyways, um, so that's where that is. Um, I'm going to go check the sign. I'll take you guys with me so we can look. What is the poster supposed to crackle like old paint? Um, but every time I tried it, I've gotten nowhere with it. I mean, I've got a little crackle here and there, but not so much. So I thought I would try again. This one, I think what I'm going to do is I want to do a, like a home sign. I've got some letters I want to put on here. I'm going to do some stenciling on here. Um, but you guys are sitting on is what I was using as my craft table. And I just I can't wait to get in this house and just give you guys like a house tour. Spring goes, we got to get a house tour. I can't wait to show you guys everything. Um, I'll do this here. I've been doing so much. So just kind of, I mean, right now I'm still using the table. So just kind of see guys. I don't know if you see. I made the... There's like a little centerpiece I did just with Walmart flowers. Um, there's the, I hope you're getting this, the napkin holder I made. But this table, I'm just going to show you guys, was um, just a brown like butcher top, fake butcher block table. And I painted it white and put the kind of distressing on it. I don't even know if you guys got any of that. And then I sealed it with a polyurethane sealer, and I, it's like a whole different table. My daughter's like, Mom, my oldest, she's like, Mom, that table is so different. Then, too, I've really wanted one of those, like, farmhouse, chippy kind of beds, and I found a footboard and a bedboard, footboard and bedboard, footboard and headboard at one of my thrift stores for $15, and I thought it was solid wood. Jeremy says part of it's particle board. He says part's wood, part of it, but anyways. Oh, just kind of give you guys a look at what I did. So that's just a peek at it. That's just the symbol part. So I painted it all white. Then I took some wax from um, Waverly Wax, clear wax. Put some wax over it. And then from there, I kind of rubbed it on the black. And then I took my sanding block and sand to give it, you know, the chip paint. And then I took the min wax ceiling and did the ceiling and um i can't wait till it's all together and to see how it all works so we'll see i'm gonna go check on that board i'm gonna take you guys with me and we'll take a look if i failed <laughs> or if it worked and i don't i see a little bit chipping coming happening so let's show you guys i'm gonna flip you over <laughs> well there you go it's still wet it's not really chipping but you gotta wait till it's completely dry. So I guess we're just gonna have to wait. I don't, I was hoping the sun might, might go ahead and get it a little faster, but not so much. Anyways, guys, I don't wanna keep you forever waiting for that. Um, when it is, oh, my neck, I don't know why my neck's killing me so much. I will go ahead and do like a short, I'll definitely show you guys once it's done, if I failed, or if it worked. I can't believe I'm so out of breath. I think it's the heat. I got some tea going. Um, and anyways, guys, I will talk to y'all later. See you on the flip side. Talk to you later. Thank you for sticking around with us. Bye, guys.